Good afternoon. We start with breaking news. Scientists at the UK Health Security Agency have confirmed that the polio virus has been found in the sewage of nine London boroughs. As a result, all children in London aged one to nine will now be offered an additional dose of the polio vaccine. In a statement released just minutes ago, the Health Secretary, Stephen Barclay, uh, said that I want to reassure people that nobody has been diagnosed with the virus and the risk to the wider population is low. Vaccines offer the best defence to children and those around them, so I would encourage families to ensure that they are up to date with their routine jabs and to come forward for the polio booster as soon as they are contacted by the NHS. Well, let's get more now from our science and medical correspondent, Thomas Moore. Thomas, this is a big step, isn't it? Certainly. Uh, we, we haven't had a case of polio in 1984, and although we... Uh, haven't had a clinical case confirmed in this outbreak, the virus is circulating and beginning to circulate more widely. And with vaccination uh, rates in the capital lower than the rest of the country, particularly in some areas, there is concern that it's only a matter of time before the virus would reach somebody who hasn't had uh, any vaccination previously and that it might cause uh, another case of, of paralysis, which, which does happen in about between one in 100 and one in 1,000 of people who, who do acquire the virus. Now, the, the vaccine rollout is going to start with uh, those areas where there have been samples detected in the sewage uh, and where uh, the vaccinations are lowest and will then spread across the capital. So eventually, the hope that all children between the ages of one and nine uh, will have uh, been offered a, a dose. And just to, to tell you the areas where there have been uh, viruses detected. There are nine boroughs, uh, as you say, and they are Barnet, Brent, Camden, Enfield, Hackney, Haringey, Islington and Waltham Forest. Now, this is all related to uh, sewage detection uh, networks in, in Beckton. Four million uh, people are covered by that sewage plant and the uh, UK Health Security Agency does routinely measure uh, the sewage. Now, they've had the opportunity to, to go upstream, as they uh, describe it, to try and identify specific areas uh, where the virus uh, is still circulating. And they do believe that uh, at least one case has been detected uh, in, in the boroughs uh, I mentioned, that there may be uh, other uh, viruses detected in uh, neighbouring areas of Beckton, uh, north and east. Now, they're not sure whether that is virus circulating within their, those areas or whether it is people visiting uh, from the other areas known to have circulating virus. And, and there is still ongoing work there. But what they are saying is that it's clear now that uh, this outbreak has gone beyond the original close network of a few individuals, most likely somebody who's come from abroad where oral vaccine is still being used because polio is more common there. Now, a, a feature of that vaccine is that you can release a uh, virus, live virus, although a, a vaccine form of it, not the really dangerous wild type virus, uh, you, you can release that into the sewage system. Uh, and that does that is why it was detected. But also, it means that it could be spread through hand to hand contact, uh, and, and also through food and drink. And that is why they're very keen to make sure that all children do get the opportunity to have a booster because the vaccine is extremely effective, not only in shutting down an outbreak, but also protecting people against paralysis and clinical disease.